then, let us begin the story where I am the protagonist. Now, you are next. If you are worthy of becoming a soldier who will protect Leanbox, then it will be no problem for you to draw this holy sword. Um... What's the matter? I can comprehend the part about the holy sword and soldierly capabilities, but what in heavens are you sitting on? Him? His name is Gu Man. He is, as you can see, a Dogu man. Over here is Lady, a Dogu lady. They're both my loyal subordinates. <laughs> the sensation of her rear pressing against the small of my back is... <laughs> now, now, bird dear. Go ahead and pull that sword out. <laughs> dear me, even though this is my main story, what is this joke of a still shot? I can almost feel the world's ill will. I'm not interested in your monologue. Time is precious. Draw the sword. <sighs> Understood. <laughs> I've done it. I've drawn the holy sword. Congratulations. You are the 983,067th wielder of the sword. Excuse me? Just one moment. I'm the 983-something? Why have so many been able to draw the sword? Do you not understand? Well, Vert, it means that you are number 983,067 of the people who've drawn the sword. It's a simple concept. Which means there are that many other wielders of the sword, soldiers, such as I? You need not concern yourself with that number. Including myself, it's better to have a rather large number of pawns. Now, Vert, you've officially become a lean box soldier. You'll get to work immediately. I'm assigning you a mission to suppress outside invaders. Outside invaders? Who are these outside invaders? It's as the name implies. There are those who pose a threat to this nation from the outside. I'll have you first fight the outsiders in the forest near the coastline. I wish for you to protect the forest for the citizens' sake. Also, accept this as a farewell gift. A hundred credits? Wait, this is all I get for a parting gift? I leave the rest to you. That is all. After I made contact with Neptune and the others, I journeyed toward Leanbox's Basilica. However, the Leanbox that greeted me was merely a counterfeit of the original. It was as if I had never existed while Esha, of Gold Third as Leanbox's ruler, was adorned with love and praise from the citizens. I was also aware that the nation was being threatened by outside invaders and something called the delusionary phenomenon. This was apparently indicative of a foreign invasion, but I felt as though there was another meaning hiding beneath the surface of it all. Also, the office of the soldier was restructured as a more accessible profession. Leanbox designed this initiative to strengthen national security. If one has the aptitude, she is given a mission to defeat outsiders, and depending on the results, she might receive financial compensation. In order to investigate what happened to Leanbox and to get closer to Esha, I registered as a soldier. Whew. I've scoured all corners of the internet, I can't believe the existence of CPUs has been so impeccably erased. Honestly, what is this magic? Who used it? On top of all this, I'm unable to contact Neptune and the others. This is most worrying. Well, nothing will be solved by complaining. 
Even if my existence is known only to me, this is still Leanbox, and Leanbox is my nation. As her CPU, I must maintain my duty to her. Wait. Before any of that, however, I must ascertain the security of my account on Four Goddesses Online 2. Oh! Thank goodness, my main and my sub are safe. I'm so glad the countless hundreds of hours I've played and thousands spent were not wasted. I'm sure it's because my actions on Four Goddesses Online 2 were greatly admired. Now that I've found my accounts to be safe, I can place my all into protecting Leanbox from the invaders. So this is where you're going. been walking for quite a while, but have yet to arrive at my destination. Who goes there? This is a military weapon? It doesn't seem to belong to Leanbox. Target acquired. Annihilate! My, that's not very reassuring. No matter. I will not hesitate to strike you down. an outside invader. That does not matter much, however. All it is to me is some EXP and credits. It is my turn. This is also a turn. Underestimated, it seems. I feel strength overflowing. It was only a machine, after all, and certainly no personal enemy of mine. Now, who would manufacture such a thing? Go. It's... When she said invaders, I never considered this was a possibility. To think... was station. What, what was that? Has something happened at my destination point? I'll have to confirm the situation first. I'll just connect to the Basilicom using the soldier's dedicated line. There. Hello. I wondered who this would be. I didn't think there were any survivors. What exactly is going on? Have you truly had no contact from the force that preceded me? I'll explain in detail, but I need you to return here immediately. Hurry. Return? Have you gone mad? Aren't there soldiers stationed there for that giant operation? In all likelihood, they're no longer here. I don't understand what you mean. It's exactly as it sounds. Thankfully, you're safe. Because you're a valuable force, I can't lose you. Return here at once. I refuse. I can't hear you. Then I'll continue sending masses of I refuse ASCII art to clog up the communication line. So 
troublesome. Do as you wish. I will do so without you ordering me. I couldn't possibly return alone when there are injured people up ahead of me.
is where you're going. Oh, so you are my opponent. It is my turn. This is also a tactic. Where you're going. This. What shall I do? First repel the outside invader, but if they're bold enough to invade alone, it must be serious. I had... <gasps> Is it the invader? I know you're hiding there. Show yourself. Huh? That voice? Is that you, Vert? Netgear? What in heaven? Why are you here? Thank goodness. I'm so relieved to finally run into a familiar face. Are you the outside invader? What do you mean, outside invader? I just came to help you. Neptune asked me to. It was hard to get here, though. It was kind of surprising. All boats headed to Leanbox were canceled suddenly. I transformed and flew here, but I was attacked by the sea. 
and chased a while after that. It was horrible. I see. I'm so glad it was a misunderstanding. Huh? You mean... Hmm. So the attacks weren't without reason. Please rest assured, though. I'll explain our circumstances and clear this all up. Thank you very much. By the way, you mentioned Neptune asked you to come here. Where did you come from? Planet Tune? Yes, I met up with her in Planet Tune, but... She said you didn't have anyone to rely on like the other nations do. So she sent me, you know, to help you. Oh... <sighs> I am ever so grateful, Nepgear. To think you were so worried about my well-being, you would fly overseas to rush to my side. You truly are my younger sister. Bird, please don't hug me in a place like this. It'll be embarrassing if someone sees. Also, you're talking it up a little too much. Let's hurry back to the city. I want to know what state Planetune is in, and also, um... Nekir, you're covered in filth. We'll head to the bath and I'll cleanse every nook and cranny of yours until you're sparkling. What is this? I sense danger. Oh, right. Hey, Vert, were you saying something about investigating a demon king? That's right. I was so happy to see you that I had completely forgotten. I'm sorry, but could you help me for a little while? Be kind of nice if you heal.